Hello. In this video, I will present some findings of the productivity study that was conducted on the Queensland spanner crab fishery. On this picture, you see spanner crabs and the equipment used to catch the crabs, which are called diddies. The commercial spanner crab fishery in Queensland is located between Yapoon Rockhampton in the north and Gold Coast in the south. Commercial fishery is subdivided into five regions, which broadly um, includes the town of 7017, Bundaberg, Tin Stradbroke, and the Gold Coast. The fishery has experienced a depletion of its stock by the 1990s, which resulted in a range of fishery management measures being implemented in the late 1990s. So these measures included input controls, such as gear restrictions, um, limited entry to the fishery, um, managed through restrictions on licenses, and output controls, um, which included the um, total allowable catch managed through individual transferable quotas. At present, the spanner crab fishery is a relatively small fishery, which generates about $9 million per year, um, and only includes 36 active licenses that operate in that region. So the aim of this study was to assess the productivity performance of the fishery over time and for these five uh, fishing areas and to provide recommendations to the fishing managers on um, the productivity of this fishery. The data that was used to study um, the, the productivity performance uh, was provided by Queensland Fisheries and included monthly records ranging from 1998 to 2020. The variables included in this data set in, um, included the number of dillies set and number of dillies lifted, the number of days fished, the hull size of the vessel, engine power, and uh, of course, the output that was um, generated by the um, individual vessels, so kilograms of spanner crabs. To analyze the data, we used the data envelopment method. Um, and the derived results uh, can be seen here. So first, the technical efficiency, which measures how the variable inputs are used compared to the outputs. Variable out, uh, inputs in uh, this case study here included the days fished, the dillies used, and the dillies lifted. So a score of one indicates that the variable inputs are used at the optimal level. So looking at the results, we can see here that the average scores for all five fishing areas um, were between 0.2 and 0.6 which suggests that uh, the variable inputs were not very well um, used, not very efficiently used over time in all the areas. And here are the results for capacity utilization. So capacity utilization is a measure um, of how fixed inputs that are hull size of the vessels and engine power, how these um, inputs compare to the outputs. So similar to the technical efficiency results, we can see from the figure here um, that the derived scores lie well below the optimal level of one. So this implies that the fixed inputs are underutilized. So there is an excess capacity of fixed inputs present in the fishery for all five regions and over time. So the data that was available, unfortunately, did not provide any further variables um, that uh, would have allowed us to investigate further uh, why these uh, uh, efficiency scores for technical efficiency and capacity utilization were so low. Variables such as uh, vessel revenues, profits, operation costs, labor use, but also fisher characteristics, age of fishes, um, education, experience, and fishing strategy would be helpful to further investigate reasons for these low efficiency scores. So our recommendation to the fishery managers um, 
where to address this data gap by collecting uh, such additional variables and to then further investigate why the uh, technical efficiency and capacity, capacity utilization scores were so low over time. This concludes the summary of the study. Thank you.